This video is how I'm going to make a compost tea bin out of a 55 gallon barrel and a few other parts. Uh, I've watched many videos on YouTube on how to make these. There are numerous designs. I'm going to start with a very basic system um, and then upgrade it in a couple weeks once I have the parts that I need for the more advanced system. Um, and you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a screw gun and a drill, a jigsaw, a pump, air tubing, uh, some air rocks, uh, some sort of a support for your bag that's going to hold the compost. I'm using a five gallon paint strainer to, as that bag. Um, you're going to need some hinges and either a uh, barrel clasp or something similar to, for the lid um, I think that's about everything but I'm not going to talk all the way through this because I don't have a microphone so we're just going to wing it and I'm going to make this work
Also, just so that you know that the uh, all of the, the door and the hardware, the only reason that that's even being installed is to keep like leaves and anything like that from falling in. It's not really needed for any other reason. Um, doesn't have to be airtight or doesn't have to look good. You could actually even just leave the door, the top off if you wanted to. Okay, so I'm going to shut this off while this barrel fills up with water and I'm also going to go sift some of my compost out of my compost pile and then when we come back I'll show you how to do this. Four or five minutes to fill my barrel up from a cistern pump. Uh, a little bit something about my water. My water is rainwater collected right off the roof into this massive gutter system. Goes straight into two connected cisterns. Um, doesn't have any type of contaminants whatsoever. Might be a little bit high on calcium, but that's about it. The other thing is, I'm not sure how much compost that I needed. I filled this up until I was afraid that this might end up breaking under the weight of the compost. And so I also went ahead and connected my air lines to the rocks. So this is a four channel unit. So I've got three air stones all the way in the bottom, kind of spread around evenly. The fourth air stone goes down inside your bag of compost and then you tie the bag of compost to your PVC uh, pipe that I drilled the hole for. So let me get this in here. First time I've ever done it. If I mess it up, oh well, we live and learn. I drop the rock inside the bag also stop catching. So now I've got the bag in place. I'm going to turn up the air. So you can see all the bubbles coming up from the air stones. Looks like I got good circulation. So now all I'm going to do is move the pump out of the way, close the lid, set the pump back down on top of the lid. Okay, so everything that I've read on the internet says you're supposed to leave this run for 24 hours straight. So it is uh, 418 right now. I'll let it run until 418 tomorrow or thereabouts. This video is basically how I'm going, blah, 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 blah.